Comedy legend Mike McDonald passed away March 17th, 2018. For me, Mike McDonald was one of those people who come into your life for a short amount of time but make a huge impact. I considered him a mentor and a friend. September 4th, 2017, Mike came over to my house and we recorded a podcast. I'll never forget the conversation. These are some of my favorite parts. Hello? Hello? And we are live. Mike McDonald is in my basement. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike McDonald. Hello. So one thing I wanted to talk about uh, right off the bat is my third night doing comedy or second night, I can't remember, first night at Yuck Yucks. And it's, this is uh, what leads to part of your success and who you are. And, and it's the fact that, uh, well, here's me walking into open mic night at Yuck I Yucks. My first. I look at the guy sitting right beside the door and I go, that guy is so familiar. And I kept walking and I look at the, the, the sheet and then I see the name Mike McDonald in big <laughs> bold print and then my name right after it. <laughs> And then that was sort of my, my start into comedy. And I went up, and that was the night I kissed Greg Houston on the lips. And uh, you came up to me afterwards and said, great job going for it, doing it, kissing him. You know? And that moment on, I've been inspired to get back up on stage as much as I can. So your influence, not only in this city, but to me, has been huge. And the fact that I can go out to an open mic and have Mike McDonald stand there and help me along the way has as huge cred, street cred, <laughs> right? So thank you is, is what else I want this podcast to be for you, for being in this city. I know it's probably not by choice. It's, uh, it's, it's Well, I, I, actually, it wasn't by choice. I mean, it, it, it would have been better for my career had I moved somewhere else, but uh, I have history in Ottawa mm -hmm. and family and stuff, so uh, that was a little more important to me, especially at the time. Mm -hmm. But as far as you know, you know, you're welcome for the enthusiasm. Yeah. But if it goes wrong, yeah. which you know, as a comedian, uh, a lot of jokes come from the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario, you're gonna blow your brains out, but then you go, "Yeah, it was Mike McDonald who made me do this. I'm gonna kill him <laughs> first. Don't come crying to me when it does." Yeah, yeah. You inspired me. Yeah. Okay, if it works out, great. But the last thing you see is me closing yeah. the trunk, going, "It's your fault." Yeah. <laughs> Mike, I could have been a doctor. Uh, you know. <laughs> Wasted my life. <laughs> he said my jokes were good. <laughs> he loved watching me kiss a man. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, there was no jokes. It was just what you were doing to Greg Houston. That's good. <laughs> but I remember in uh, in uh, grade six, especially, they had this thing called a a, a slam book mm -hmm. that uh, each person had a page, and people would take the book occasionally and write their thoughts about those people. It's beautiful on the page and then every once in a while you'd, you'd pick it up and read your page and go, oh my God, I didn't think. And mine was always, stop telling us all the jokes from laughing last night. We all watched the show enough already. <laughs> we get one yeah. English show. <laughs> stop, stop doing those jokes every day. Yeah, because yeah. we had one channel, the Stars and Stripes, <laughs> the American <laughs> affiliate, and yeah. they had laughing on, I think, uh, Tuesday nights or whatever. Yeah. And every Wednesday morning, I'd be doing all the jokes. They go, we saw it. We saw the show. <laughs> stop. Very interesting. We saw it. <laughs> People ask me about it my definition of mental illness. Mental illness is knowing how much all the people that love you would be affected and hurt by you killing yourself mm -hmm. and still thinking, no, that's the best thing I can do right now yeah. for everybody is kill me. So that's a, that's that's, a great way to put it. That's mental me. illness. Yeah, wow. But uh, yeah, I believe what I believe, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I believe that uh, uh, I have no problem with people believing whatever they want to believe. I'm not here to convince anyone the, uh, of the way I believe yeah. everything, but I'm betting on a certain thing that happens when you die, mm -hmm. and the people that bet, well, you know, when you die, that's it. Mm -hmm. Well, have a good life. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I've got to think there's something better yeah. coming. So. Got to justify getting yeah. up out of bed every day. What but it's just also, uh, you know, just to, to do the right thing about most things. It's just, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, uh, you know, when you reach a certain age, you know what's right and you know what's wrong. I mean, I, I've been wrong about a number of things. Are you trying to make a positive impact in the in the comedy that you're putting out today? Well, the, the thing, you know, the thing in, uh, I, if 
I pray to myself and focus on myself before I do a show, I pray for, I can go out there, uh, make people laugh, reflect the light, and say something worthwhile. And I hope I can do those three things each night. That's, that's what I uh, pray for before the show. Uh, my wife, my future wife, Bonnie, she was there to uh, sort of pick up the pieces when Bonnie. I was falling apart. Yeah. And she said, you know, I, I'll take care of you. And I looked and I go, oh, really? <laughs> and I went, oh, okay. And that's the best thing that, you know, of all the things that I've screwed up in my life, the only thing that I've done right is marry the right person. Yeah, seems like she's probably saved your life a number of times. A uh, number of times. Thanks, Mike. We love you. You'll never be forgotten.